Alright you guys, this is the Picture Perfecto channel. Thank you for clicking. Today we are going to be doing a super cute girly DIY hair accessories. Me personally, I love wearing hair accessories. I picked up some ribbon, some glitter, flowers, and some bows. I had this super cute flower that I put with an Easter bouquet. I decided to take one of the flowers and use it recycle it for another project and let's not forget the jewels you just have to add some jewels like come on now it's just gonna make everything sparkle that much more so i got these jewels and i plan on putting them on some clips i think they're gonna come out super cute um for our hair accessories i just went ahead to the 99 store and picked up some because i'm like whatever it doesn't really matter i'm gonna end up changing them and decorating them so the less money i have to spend the better so these i just got at the 99 cent store just some regular clips that we're gonna be using let's go ahead and jump on into the tutorial so for this I just got these little clips these little hair clips that you can just put in your hair and we're gonna add these super cute polka dot bows I love polka dots I don't care what nobody says polka dots are just so cute they just scream to me girly and I'm just messing around with the flowers trying to see which ones I think would go really super cute but I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the polka dot bows we're just gonna super glue them onto the clips and let's go ahead and get on in. Okay, for our next project, we're going to go ahead and take these headbands with the ribbon. I thought these were friends like this. Cute. Can I just, can't, I just can't stay cute enough in this video. So, I'm going to go with the one that's the thickest ribbon. I decided to line it from underneath. I tried it at the top and what I found is that it gets just a little bit messy and it just doesn't look as neat. So, if you go ahead and line it from the bottom then you're able to hide those seams just a little bit better so you just want to go ahead and lay your glue down and slowly press the ribbon all the way across until you're done and go ahead and cut the ends and fold the seams onto the other side as I'm doing now so now that I've laid the seams down I'm just going over the top and laying the ribbon down that's hiding those seams on the other side so now this way you're able to just lay it down flat and the layer on the top is able to wrap around towards the bottom. So since it's the bottom, it's not going to be seen as much. And you just want to seal those seams as you go along just so that the both ends close and it just looks seamless. So after I laid it down, it looks a whole lot better. And now I'm just going to go ahead and figure out where I'm going to be placing my flower, what side I would like to put it on, and yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys were able to understand that. Okay, so next are these plain clips. I'm just going to put some of the Mod Podge on it, spread it evenly across, and I'm just going to go ahead and dip that in the glitter. I just got super glitter happy. I just love the sparkle on it, and I just decided to do different ideas with the clips. I just let my creativity just run wild, and I also... Um, put flowers on them. I left some of them glittery and I also painted them. If you do decide to paint your clips, just make sure that you go over the paint with clear nail polish just to kind of seal the paint so that it doesn't chip as easy. Um, also using paint, you can just, you know, use different type of colors and start making colorful clips that you're able to interchange out with your child's outfits. I 
I also decided to lay some small flowers on these clips. When placing the flower on, you just want to make sure that you put it on the right side because they do pop open. And opening and closing it constantly is going to give you wear and tear on the flower. So just be mindful of what side you place it on. So here's the final look. I just got super creative with these clips. I love the way they came out. They each have their own unique look and I think they're gonna look great. Okay, so now we're on to the clips. I went ahead and laid my first four iridescent stones. They are different sizes, so you just want to go ahead and lay them out, figure out what the placing is of them. You can kind of do your own thing. There really is no right or wrong way. You can just go ahead and form it the way that you feel. The different stones, as you see, I'm laying them down. I'm just kind of figuring out where the stones are going to be placed. Right here, I'm placing the stones already on there just to find their placing so that when I'm ready to glue, I know exactly where I'm going to be laying my stones and which stones I'm going to be choosing. placing my last few stones on the clip I decided to basically completely cover the clip with the rhinestones I figured when you see it in the hair any angle that you're looking at the clip is just gonna be sparkling I think it's gonna look so cute regardless if you dress it up or dress it down it's just gonna be a really cute accessory in your hair and this is the finished product I hope you guys liked it please give me a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you guys are not already subscribed Join that Perfecto tribe. And until next time, you guys, I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.